Hey everybody, my name is Weefies and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be once again talking about Grian. One of the funniest members of the Hermitcraft server, Grian manages to spruce up his survival gameplay with his own storylines, personality, and of course, skins. Grian's skins can and will often be changed through certain episodes if it is required, and they look amazing and well made nearly every time. Today, we are going to be looking a bit further into his skins and determining which is the best Grian skin. Obviously, there is no way to quantify the value of skins without opinion, and as such, I am going to be using the following criteria to judge the skins. Criteria number one, impact on the plot. Out of 10, I will rank how much I think this skin contributed to the episode and how memorable or enjoyable that scene was, as well as the overall impact of that scene throughout the series. Criteria number 2. How detailed. Out of 10 again, I will determine how many changes occurred between changing the skins, and this is opinion based, of course, how much work did I think Rian put into the skin. Criteria number 3. How creative it is. Out of 5 this time, I will try to judge how cool of an idea this skin was and how cool the theme was, in my opinion, of course. And finally, criteria number four, I'll just be giving my opinion out of five, because it's purely my opinion of how good I think the skin looks, how much I personally like it. But without further ado, let's get right into the video, and consider subscribing and leaving a like if you do enjoy, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much, and let's do this. By the way, there's a twist ending, so stick around for the secret number one. Before the video, I selected 10 candidates, and we're going to begin eliminating them one by one until we find the best Grian skin. The first two we can eliminate are Saturated Grian and Demise Grian. Demise Grian is very easy to get rid of. While he gets an 8 in the plot category, all the other categories get a 1 because there isn't too much that's special about this skin. You can do the math. Name MC has a black and white generator for skins, and the skin isn't too creative compared to let's say Scars or Grimdog's Demise skins. Similarly, the saturated skin is the exact same, but I gave it a 6 for detail, because I do think that Grian had to handcraft each saturated pixel. Although, I don't know, there could be a machine for that as well. But this still totals to only 16 points out of a potential 30, so that gives it second to last to the Demise skin. The next skin we are going to eliminate is one of my personal favorites, Christmas Grian. The Christmas Grian skin is this adorable, snug-looking Grian that was used in the Christmas Wintertime episodes. This Grian skin is absolutely adorable and well-made, earning an 8 in detail and a 5 in opinion because I think it looks absolutely amazing and cozy. However, this skin does not do so well in the plot and creative categories, earning a 1 in plot and a 3 in creativity. The skin totals to 17 because it wasn't a hugely original idea putting a sweatshirt on your Minecraft character and doesn't really influence the episodes that much. However, it is still my favorite looking skin on the list and that is why I gave it 17 points. I do, I don't know, I just like snuggy things, what can I say? Coming up next is another Christmas related skin that we will now eliminate. It is the Grinch. Grian did devote an episode to and title to this, so I will give it a 5 for plot as well as a 5 for detail. While not too much was done to Grian's original skin, I do think what he changed was done professionally and I will give it an average score. This skin also gets a 4 for creativity, because it was a cool idea, as well as a 4 for my opinion just because of that pun. Grinch. It's hilarious. That adds up to an average 18 points. Not too bad, not too good, but it could definitely do better. The next two skins on our list tie for 5th place. The first skin, Green with Mumbo's Mustache. This one excels in the plot, getting a 9, as it drives many storylines such as the Redstone Talent as well as the Machine of course, which in turn sparked animations, parodies, and a whole lot of community engagement about Mumbo's Mustache. However, while it doesn't do too well here, while it, while it does do well here, sorry, it doesn't do too well in detail, getting only a 2 out of 10 because let's face it, haha, face it, it's just a mustache on Green's skin. I gave it a 5 for creativity because the whole idea is pretty cool, but since there wasn't too much done, I only gave it a 3 for my personal score, because it, it's just green with a mustache. The second skin earning a 19 points is Hippie Green. This one gets an 8 in the plot category, and a solid 4 in creativity, as it inspired some great story with Area 77 and all that jazz. However, that's all that I was going for it, with a 5 in detail, and only a 2 for my opinion. What can I say, I don't like it as much, I don't know why, but I just don't. So that's a 19 point total for those two skins, moving on to the getting better ones. Coming in at number 4 is Tuxedo Grian, and all these skins are really good, and this one was a bit of a surprise, but it got a solid 21 out of 30 points, mainly due to its 10 out of 10 plot score. 
This skin was the one that sparked Sahara, Buildstone, and Architects, and I think that's definitely worth a 10, because that still lives to this day strongly. That said, it doesn't fare as well in the other categories. It gets a 6 in detail, because it's a pretty good suit, but only a 3 in creativity, because, well, it isn't that creative. It's just a red suit. I also gave it a 2 in opinion, because personally, I don't like how the red contrasts with the rest of green, but that's just my opinion. Still a good skin, though, 29 out of 30. Coming up next is going to be Guinea Pig Green. Overall, this skin scored really well in all the categories, getting an 8 out of 10 in plot because there were a few episodes devoted to this as well as a remix. I gave a 7 in detail because I think Green did a really good job designing this fursuit, so I think that's fair. Um, I also gave a 5 in creativity because overall this was a new idea and, didn't, and Green did a really good job of selling his services and acting out this persona. Or should I say fursona? No. No, I shouldn't. However, all that said, I wasn't in love with the whiskers, so I only gave a 3 out of 5 for opinion. Overall, 23 points though. Good skin. And finally, before we continue any further, I would just like to interrupt for one moment to ask that if you are enjoying the video up to this point, maybe consider leaving a like and subscribing. We're almost at 30k and it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe. Regardless, here we go. And coming in with 24 points. Wait. What? That can't be right. Sideways green? Earning a 5 for plot, which is decent, but a 9 in detail puts this skin in the lead. It is clear that Green spent a lot of time flipping his skin sideways, and he did so with precision and detail, doing a great job with the face and the side and the legs and arms and everything. I especially like the arms over the head, I think it looks really good. I'll give this a 5 for creativity and 5 for opinion, because personally I love the skin and find it hilarious. It was also a cool twist for an episode, and very many memes were made about it, and it's hilarious again. So, that's it? No skin can dethrone sideways green? You think so? Think again, because there is one skin that we have not discussed yet that can beat sideways green with an amazing score of 27. And that skin is... Poultry Man. And I know what you might be thinking. Even if green was Poultry Man, he would still just be wearing armor and a chicken head. Yes, you would be right, but luckily there is a way around this. There is one skin that Green has used on Name MC, Poultry Man in Hiding. And there we go. I chose to give this a 10 for a plot, because Poultry Man lasted so long and contributed to so many laughs, episodes, memes, and a whole server war. I also gave this an 8 for detail because the work put into the skin is incredible and it just looks so good with the trench coat and everything. Amazing. Another place the skin shined is in creativity. The whole idea of a chicken vigil vigilante... Vigil... Vig Vigilant, Vigilant, V, Batman is completely original in Minecraft, and Green did a great job of executing this whole egg paration. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Personally, I quite like the Green skin as well, so I gave it a 4 for opinion. However, that does conclude the list with Poultry Man being Green's best skin. If he was Poultry Man, that is, because we don't actually know. But that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and please do consider subscribing if you have made to the end. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you once again for watching, I will see you all next time, and peace out, adios.